an epic journey across the heart of Asia to the center of Europe, crossing historic landmarks, the untamed wilderness, bustling cities, towering peaks, and modern marvels. It is the spirit of this unparalleled adventure that brought together the participants of the Road to London 2019. Our third foray into this exhilarating experience. words the participants set off for what will be the journey of a lifetime for some the road was their salvation for others this was about sharing a unique experience with friends and family this is something he and I have been wanting to do for a long time road trips are a thing this was supposed to be a motorcycle ride but now it's turned into a nice long car ride which I think we both enjoy We are friends from the last seven years, but we never had any trip. We are on a mother of the trip. We are mother. <laughs> yeah. Zindagi mein socha nika, sab socha aaj kar diya. Expectations to bhot zara hai. Fifty nine days. Ghar ke baar nahi re. We are traveling for almost fifty two days. India ke baar, eighteen countries. Mummy ke last I don't know. Jab se I am born, even ghar pe bhi maine kabi fifty days mummy ke last spend kiya. So it's good to be two adventures together. Driving from Imphal, the India-Myanmar Friendship Bridge, a symbol of India's link with East Asia, was the starting point of the journey. As our convoy entered Myanmar, we were greeted with friendly smiles and picturesque landscapes. This is a country steeped in Buddhist spirituality, Gilded pagodas and intricately carved temples dot the skyline, awing tourists and pilgrims alike. My name is Vaira and I am in the swimming pool. I am going to the road trip to India from London and I am enjoying in London. We are in Bagan. As the sun set, the ancient city of Bagan sparkled with color, music, and dance. The rich cultural traditions of this city, which is also home to over 4,000 pagodas, has earned it the status of being a UNESCO World Heritage Site. One key component of Bagan's culture is its rather exotic cuisine. This is called cricket, which is a delicacy of Myanmar, and this is not something that is found regularly. These are the eyes, these are the hands, these are the legs. It's a proper cricket, which is just supposed to be eaten. And this is how I'm going to eat this. And it's, wow. Hmm. I like this, and this is the biggest welcome that I could get in Myanmar. Now that clearly was one memorable meal, after all. Creating lasting memories is just what this incomparable road trip is all about. <laughs> Myanmar's breathtaking beauty left an indelible image in the hearts and minds of our participants. Even the youngest of them was left utterly charmed and charged for the next leg of the journey. Myanmar outstanding ra. I'm sure Thailand will be super super. With that, we bid farewell to Myanmar to travel through the kingdom of Thailand, a country known for its tropical beaches, glorious palaces, friendly people and rich ancient heritage. Six days, couldn't have had smoother border crossing, just over coffee and refreshments.
problem with my food habits, but that is care, taken care of totally by Sanjay and Tushar plus other people of the team enjoying it thoroughly. Awesome, awesome journey. It started as my husband's dream, but I'm enjoying it to the to a, like a passion now. And the journey has been lovely. I've been experiencing a lot and looking forward to more adventures and lots and lots of fun. Welcome to Sri Next on the list of our convoy was China, a modern-day superpower with a civilization history of over 5,000 years. In fact, at the Yuanmao Earth Forest, these clay formations go back much longer, dating to over a million years ago. The day's journey has left our travelers hungry for much, much more. My name is this is telling me with the with, with rice buns. With, with rice, rice flour buns. Yeah, and she's telling me I can put what about the stall. This is the compliment that I got. <laughs> wow. Art lunch. Pure, pure, pure veg lunch in China. Can you believe it? On the road, it is difficult to not be impressed by the rapid pace of infrastructure development that China has experienced. Smooth roads and strong connectivity makes this country a roadster's paradise. Yet, there is a softer side to China, one that's represented by the ever so cuddly giant pandas. Chengdu in Sichuan province is known as the world's panda capital. The panda base here has played a critical role in ensuring the future survival of these once endangered species. Bidding farewell to our new furry friends, the convoy headed north towards Gansu. Yesterday was the first day and an enjoyable drive, 450 and 450 kilometers from Chengdu. And uh, a very scenic drive and uh, the group is as good as it could have been. Beyond my imagination, uh, it's like Wakanda. The roads are spectacular, some of the best in the world. I think comparable to uh, almost Germany or probably uh, Europe. The drive is going really well. Yesterday, yeah, it was mesmerizing. I never expected this part of the world could be like this, but it's really nice. Today we have come to some 14,000 feet above the sea level. So we had 2 degree temperature tha and it's going amazing. We are so glad that we are doing it by road. Flight se to jane hi jata hai, aadmi dekh hi leta hai. But we are staying in such an exclusive resort. With chote se gaon mein and the roads are mind blowing. So it's been a great day, fantastic feeling and China is superb to come by road. The high altitude and snow capped peaks offered an opportunity for fun and frolic. Before it was time for a rather serious dive into history. At two Brutus. We are on the third season of Road to London. And we have completed 17 days. Right now we are standing at the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall is an ancient marvel of military engineering. <laughs> we are at Jiayi Guan, the western part of the uh, Great Wall of China. Such a great experience uh, driving along with uh, the Adventure Overland uh, team. China has been really good, very much different from what I was, I was expecting it to be and you know, every day it's changing. Fantastic ja rahi hai trip, bhaag rahe, yahan se vahan, nahi nahi jagay dekh rahe aur ye, ye ek dekhna hami se ek lifetime dream tha and karte karte gaadi se yahan to pohuch gai gar se. It's been fantastic, journey abhi bhi lambi hai, aadhi trip baaki hai, to dekhte hai kaise jati hai. Jele ke saath vichal turu. Jum maza, gaadi chalane mein yahan rahe. तो शायद से मैंने दुनिया में और कहीं इतना मजा नहीं लिया। थैंक यू सो मच संजय एंड तुषार 
for making sure that we enjoy this experience and stays with us for a lifetime. For us, it is a, a real blessing that we are able to do this journey for the third time and we are really, really very happy that everybody is loving each and every day of this journey. China, which has been a longer stay, has been the most fascinating one. Considering we are spending 17 days in China and now moving to to, to, to Tatpan, uh, I think uh, this perhaps would be the most memorable trip. I am having the best time of my life, and uh, I'm looking forward to another 30 days of this journey. लाइफ में एक न्यूज़ पे है 120 पे और लास्ट मेरे ख्याल से 15 16 दिन से हम 120 पे चल रहे हैं और ऑल थैंक्स टू संजय एंड तशा टू न्यूज़ पे हमारे हमारी लाइफ को क्रूज पे लाने के लिए द टाइम स्पेंट इन चाइना हैज बीन नथिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ अ रेवोल्यूशन द डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ द टेरेन लैंडस्केप्स एंड एक्सपीरियंसेस विल बी फॉरएवर चेरिश्ड Moving west, our adventurers entered Kashgar as a key hub along the ancient Silk Route. The city was once a meeting place of empires and civilizations. I'm trying some street food, which looks so amazing. This way, it's a common soup ka pool made. It's a different type of meat, and they put their own soup. So, I'm trying soup. I'm trying soup. After a long day in the sun, it was now time for some serious fun. They say that good food is sweeter when it is shared with friends. While the desire for adventure is what brought our participants together on the road to London, their true reward is the bonds that they formed. The colourful sights of China, now firmly in the rear-view mirror, we crossed into Central Asia. Welcome to our country, Uzbekistan. The Republic of Uzbekistan is just 28 years old. But this land and the people that call it home have a proud ancient culture. The vibrant city of Samarkand in Uzbekistan is renowned for its gilded mosques and mausoleums. Located on the Silk Route, the ancient trade route linking China to the Mediterranean, it's a treasure trove of vintage traditions. Landlocked Kazakhstan, we crossed into Russia, our gateway to Europe. Over 40 days on the road to London, our 4x4 SUVs raced towards Warsaw, the capital of Poland, famous for the 1955 pact that drew the Iron Curtain. Warsaw, Poland. It is a beautiful countryside and my first road trip ever driving in Europe. So I'm having a blast 
and uh, I am in the first car leading the convoy. That's quite an honor I've just heard. This is crazy. Highly recommended road trip, guys. Make some money and join them. <laughs> This is now day number 43 after crossing China, Uzbek, Kazakh, Kyrgyzstan, Russia. Now finally I am in Europe. This is Warsaw, this is the capital of Poland. Country number 12 for me. Day number 43 that I am driving to reach London. History aside, the busy streets of Warsaw offer an eclectic mix of delights to tickle one's senses. Breakfast at Czech. The lunch in Germany. And tea at Netherlands. And we're having dinner in Brussels. Oh. Yes, seven countries in eight days. That's exactly what the final week promises. Namaste, namaste. Prague, namaste. The Czech capital is not only renowned for its breathtaking beauty, but also for its quaint cafes and musical scene. From Prague, through Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium and France, we finally sailed across the English Channel to enter the United Kingdom. We have finally reached UK country number 18 after driving for 49 days. It has been an absolutely fantastic journey so far. Uh, we've had lots of different experiences, lots of long hours waiting at the borders, <clears throat> bad weather, snow, rain, driving through deserts, driving on the autobahn, driving in the high altitudes. But uh, we are very happy that after such a long journey, have safely reached the ferry port in Calais. And now we are just going to go on the ferry and go to Dover, which is in the UK, and drive straight to London. So feeling very happy, very proud, and very relieved that once again, Go to London uh, has successfully been able to reach UK all the way from India. Hello, right. Congratulations. For the partakers of the 2019 edition of the Road to London, the 50 days spent on the road, traversing 16,000 kilometers across 18 countries. This has been a larger-than-life road trip that will remain etched in their memories forever.